Good morning, San Francisco. Yeah, fat motor ride. Let's do this shit. Yeehaw. I needed a more excited yeehaw than that, didn't I? Fuck it. Just take off and see what happens. Aha, I needed to adjust this pedal too. Oh, and I can't see with the windshield down because it's so dirty. <laughs> Let's just say I might not have been prepared for this ride. <laughs> I don't know. I do have future plans for the channel now. I have future friends for the channel. I'm just not sure if I want to discuss them yet because uh, my plans always fall through. Like that motorized trike I've been promising you guys for since the channel started. I do have all the parts. I've, I've got everything. I just got to put it together. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really have room right now. I have so many people in my house. Just not enough room. I'm thinking about making it a winter project because it'll give me videos to make during the winter because it does kind of suck riding around on these in the winter. I've got the dead ender if it keeps on going. Fuck it, let's find out. Something new, huh? Probably a fucking dog up here or some shit. Yeah, looks like a dead end. That clutch is starting to stick again. You hear the bike almost shut off. But, uh, I don't know, I took that part to clutch apart and lubed it up when I first got the bike and I've owned it for over two years now so I think it's done good I don't even know if I'm gonna replace it I honestly might just try taking it apart and lubing it up again it lasted two years the first time yeah <laughs> it wouldn't go right there it literally almost shut off on me that could have been really bad I mean I have pedals I suppose <laughs> Do we want to pedal though, guys? Do we want to pedal? I do not want to pedal. Do you want to pedal? Let us not pedal. I'm gonna head towards the park, but not go to the park because I'm uploading a video of me in the park right now as we speak. I guess this could just be riding around the outskirts of, whoa, outskirts of town type of deal. Sorry, I've never seen that scoreboard from behind. It's, uh, just notice how big it is. I was like, oh, all right. What if I'm Max? No. My governor bypass must be fucking up a little bit. Okay, this road here is a very long ride that I'm not sure I want to do today. In fact, it feels like my wheel is fucked up or something. Hmm. Oh, very fucked up. What the hell? I gotta replace these front forks. I, I've I fixed the seal on them three different times now. And I have a pair of forks at the house that I want to try and sh uh, switch them out, 
I don't know if they're gonna be the same size or not, not a little bit, or not though. Um, not lengthwise, but like diameter. Lengthwise is no big deal. I got, you know, I can cut and fit myself or shit like that. Um, God, I forgot how much gravel sucks with these bikes. Now you got people like Outlay Hover that just goes like 40 on these back roads. I'm like, dude, I would die. Like legit. I'm probably going 10 right now, maybe 15. Oh. Yeah, I know where this pops out on, and if we take this road, it's going to be about an hour drive of misery. <laughs> so I don't think I'm going to continue it. I don't know. Let's go to the bridge. Maybe. There's a bridge up here. I might make this two videos, actually. We get to the bridge. I might cut it off there. That's a pretty long video for you guys, to be honest with you depending on what all I got edited out, but here on these back roads, probably just let it go. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. You know, no, <laughs> I'm not saying my channel's great. My channel sucks. I, I consider myself pretty mo mediocre, mediocre, yeah, mediocre, not medium ochre. I consider myself pretty mediocre, and, um, where the hell was I even going with this, guys? Oh, I think I'm the only motorized bike channel, which I don't even consider myself a motorized bike channel anymore. Just consider myself a two-wheel adventure channel. <laughs> but, um, I seem to be the only one with a mic hookup. Like, everybody else either doesn't have their voice in, with lots of wind or they do like uh, LA's method of recording and then doing the voiceover on the computer which um he's gotten that system down pretty good I never liked it personally I tried it with a couple videos and I don't even have them on the channel anymore because they were so awful uh just not my cup of tea I guess man the new fat motos they got going on and I'm going to make this a community post, actually, but I'll ask you in the video, too. I know you guys get bored halfway through the video, so who knows if you'll even hear this question. Um, the new Fat Motos. I want to get the all-terrain version. I'm already thinking about that. Um, I know, I diss on the bike all the time when I'm talking about getting another one. But they have gears now. I think they're like a 7-speed. And with those big-ass fat tires and shit that they come with now, that would just be sweet. Um, oh, and they, they upgraded the clutch. So my biggest complaint about the bike are the front forks and the clutch. And um, so you don't got to worry about the clutch anymore. They put a Hillard on there. Um, I have no clue about the front forks. I guess that would just be something we figure out together when we get it. Oh, this is where my buddy was attacked by the dog. Shit. <laughs> we might get attacked by a dog. And I didn't bring my freaking gun. And I lost my train of thought again. My main point is, should I buy a new Fat Moto? <laughs> I'll keep this one because this is uh, generally what I let my friends ride because it's just kind of a dummy bike, you know, get on, twist the throttle, you're good to go. So I would definitely keep it because it makes group rides with other people really easy. But yeah, I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Should I buy the new all-terrain Fat Moto with seven speeds and a Hillard clutch? Long ride. I thought the bridge was way closer. Than, oh, okay. Here's the dog. Okay, please don't be out. I'm really not in the mood. He comes out of this house right here and chases you all the way down the road. And he does bite. He bit my friend several times. And it's all on camera on the channel. Look it up. But, uh, I think the title is something along the lines of Motorized Bike Ride, Dog Attack, Slash Motor Lockup. Um... It's a long time ago, so I was using my old camera, so the quality's not as good, and I also didn't have a mic yet, but uh, it's there. And luckily for me, that dog didn't seem to be out. Or, not to be a dick, somebody shot him because uh, you can't really have a dog running out and attacking people on bikes and motorcycles and stuff. 
I get dogs chase stuff, and that's what we thought he was doing in the video. And then all of a sudden, I was like, oh shit, he's going after him. Yeah, if your dog bites people on a public road, then you should probably lock your dog up. Plus, even if your dog is nice, I just don't trust people with my animal. Oh, with my animals, you know? Like, I mean, I haven't had a dog in a while, but, uh, yeah, I definitely wouldn't be letting him run on the roads. You never know, someone might just shoot him for no reason. I will shoot a dog if I have to, if it's attacking me. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Would I feel bad about it? Probably. It's a dog. Dogs are way better than people. But it's attacking me, you know? But then you got the people that'll just hit animals or shoot animals for no reason, and they're the scum of the earth. So, yeah. <laughs> How the hell did we get on this subject? Man. I'm glad I brought the Fat Moto for this because it's the most comfortable bike I own. Not my favorite. Before you go in the comments telling me Death Trap's my favorite, I know, Death Trap is my favorite. I'm just saying this is the most comfortable. JB doesn't do too bad either, but I'm, I don't know. I'm having trouble with chain alignment again. Chain alignment seems to be my biggest issue with these bikes. Uh, and once you get it, you know, it's golden, it's amazing. You're like, oh, this is great, but I'm getting it. <clears throat> That's the pain. Oh, God, do not do that on gravel. The chain. See, I don't like the centrifugal clutch because it just grabs randomly. So it grabbed and made my back tire uh, skid in the gravel, which... You know, in the gravel is not a good thing. There are definitely some problems with this bike. I really hope the freaking Hillard clutch fixed half of them. All right. Here's the bridge. So, we will end it with a, a shitty view. I was going to say a good view. Oh, yeah. Motorized bike railroad track video. That would be sweet, actually, but it'd be better off on the motorcycle doing something like that with actual wheels. But all right. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next video, which I'm going to record right now.